So I got this dead out hive. Uh, this would have been 18 OR3 from last year. This is the one that died out over the winter. Um, and it's the comb is in pretty rough shape. It's pretty old and black. Uh, so I'm going to uh, clean this comb out, scrape all these frames clean, reclaim the wax out of it, and put new foundations into these frames and set up a new uh, a new box with clean foundations. Uh, so I guess I should mention for those that don't know, this black comb is excellent for attracting swarms and uh, you know bringing new colonies in. But the downside is this stuff tends to have a lot more pesticides in it. Um, as a result of being through multiple multiple seasons and so uh, given the state of this comb and how old this box is I'm gonna scrape this all out um, believe it or not this black wax after some good rendering you can get uh, some pretty nice yellow wax off the top if you're uh, patient and let it settle out uh, we'll get to that but I just thought I would show a shot of this before I tear it apart and then uh, I'll show you as I uh, go through the frames so I just pulled these two frames out of the box. You can see uh, where it's been robbed out here. All the rough edges is from robbing. Same here. Uh, but you can see why this stuff is kind of in rough shape. So we're going to just uh, go through and uh, tear it out. We'll drop some new foundations in here. And they'll have a clean base to start from. Unfortunately, we're nice and early in the season. They'll have some time to build up comb and fill it. So, uh, yeah, you can see it's like all glued to the side wall of the box. It's really kind of a mess. So, we're going to clean it up so we don't have a mess. Okay, so this is just an example of a frame after it's basically ripped out, cleaned out. Uh, I probably would do a little more scraping because when we put foundations in these, this strip comes out, and you can see staples in this corner here. There's another one there behind the wax probably, and there might be a third in the middle. But that comes out, and I guess you can see from this angle, that this is a strip of wood. So what you do is you set your foundation in there, and actually there's a groove in the bottom here. So your foundation goes into this groove, and then it sits flat against the surface here, and then this piece of wood goes back over it, and you staple in place, and that gives you a nice firm bite. I use wireframe foundations because they're much better for going through the extractor. They hold up to the spin and the centrifugal force of the spin much better. So this isn't totally cleaned up, but uh, you don't really have to go crazy on cleanup because the bees are going to end up uh, using propolis and wax to fill in these spaces again. You really just want your foundation to fit in here square and even and flat. Um, I just thought I'd show a frame uh, basically scraped out. And I'll just let you have a look in the wax bucket here. This is my new wax bucket, and uh, just kind of pack it all in here, and then uh, once we get a bucket full, we do a rendering operation. Uh, <clears throat> the easiest way for me to do that is in the greenhouse on top of the thermal mass stove, that big uh, thermal mass tank. I just get that up to about 150, 160 degrees, and then I can melt the wax down and then pull it out and you let the, the sediment drop out and the nice wax will rise to the top and then uh, you can repeat that process uh, sometimes you add water to get it a little bit better float and that also lets dirt and sediment fall out into the water so real quick this is the last frame the other one's all rough cleaned out except for these two which yet to do you can see there's uh, all sorts of uh, pollen and bee bread in here from before um, probably some uh, brood mixed in with that as well <coughs> excuse me also you can see a little bit of honey here so there's various mixed stuff there uh, that's going to take some time to refine but that's okay. okay so went around and scraped off all of this uh, burr comb and stuff that's connected here lots of stuff the only reason I'm taking this off is not because it needs to be cleaned up. The bees will repropolize most of this, but it's just so that frames will come in and out of here clean and easy because that's really important that you don't mess up 
comb and frames and especially if this ends up being a brood box you can really screw up uh, a brood uh, on a colony if you get frames bound together or they lock up to the side on you and you can't get them out and then you break a frame and you disturb brood and it becomes a real mess on you so uh, just a little tip from my very limited beekeeping experience but uh, if you don't learn it this way you learn it on your own quick <laughs> All right, there we go. That's the screen bottom board cleaned out. The mite count bottom cover on. I don't know what's a technical term for this. That is at the moment off the top of my head. Box all cleaned out, ready to go, so we don't have interference. Installing and removing frames. And I got a bunch of frames here that need to be foundationed, and they need some little final cleanup just to, so they don't have burr comb sticking off the edges that interferes and stuff. But uh, it's gonna be cool tonight. And one thing you will want to know, if you're going to work on wax anything, if you're putting wax foundations in, you want warm weather for that. If you get cold weather, they crack and break on you, and they're very hard to work with. But if you wait until you have a warm, sunny day, you can manipulate those frames much easier. And now that the bees aren't going to be robbing out of this, I'm going to pull all this stuff out. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to throw these frames back in here. And then uh, tomorrow, if I have time, I hope I do, because I want to be ready for the next swarm if we have one. I'll come out and uh, put some foundations into these uh, into these frames, and we'll be ready to go. Stick one more frame in here. There we go. Eight frames cleaned out, ready to go. And <clears throat> this is about a bucket full of wax in comb form. I will tell you, that looks like a lot of wax. When you melt it down, it's not that much wax. I would say, eh, it's probably weighs, I know these buckets are about one and a quarter pounds. I would say it probably weighs four or five pounds all total. That means there's somewhere around three pounds, maybe as much as four in wax. And a good portion of that is uh, brood, dirt, other sediment, and sludge that will come out. So probably only end up with uh, you know, a little over a pound of wax, maybe two, but we'll see. All right, so that's it. She's cleaned out and uh, ready for the next phase of cleanup and preparation. I hope this helps someone. Uh, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to do so down below. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.